Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. Hope you all have a great day. Today is Saturday Smoothie and with keeping with the theme of fall, maybe winter soon for some of us, uh, I am going to do my version of an apple pie smoothie. I have done one in the past, but I like to tweak things and um, sometimes we just get tired of something tasting the same. So I like to have a little fun with things. Remember, at any point, you can use any version or something similar that you like the taste of to replace what I'm using. For instance, I like unsweetened vanilla almond milk. If you prefer soy, it will change the taste. Uh, or hemp or any of the milks that are out, rice milk, you go ahead and use it. Or if you prefer to use just plain milk, you go ahead and use milk. Um, I'm going to be using the cinnamon apple butter that is sold at Williams Sonoma. It is by Murray Head. I like the flavor of this apple butter. I don't particularly care for others that I have tasted, but if there is a less expensive version of this that fits your budget, go ahead and use it as long as you like the flavor. It's so important when we're eating healthy that you like the flavors. You gotta like the way it tastes. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start with a half a cup of my unsweetened almond milk. It's vanilla flavored. I'm going to start with my strained yogurt. Now, I talked about this in the pumpkin video, pumpkin pie video. All you do is take a strainer, some cheesecloth, or an, I have a nut bag here. You take your Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. I use 2%. You can use zero. If you like full fat, you go right ahead and use it. But strain it overnight. It must be done overnight and you need some distance between the end of the bowl and the strainer itself so that the water drains into the bowl and doesn't lay on the yogurt. The yogurt will then thicken just like cream cheese, okay? So I have, this was a cup I measured out. I'm gonna put that into my smoothie and then we're gonna clean my hands up. And our next step, I'm going to take one tablespoon of the apple butter and the flavor of this one is really nice. Not too much cinnamon, so I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon. Okay, our next step is going to be our cinnamon. I'm just going to add a pinch. I want a little more cinnamon flavor. Now, here is where I do like a little extra cinnamon. I'm not really a big fan of it in pumpkin pie, but apple pie I am. So I'm going to put a pinch of cinnamon in there. Then I'm going to take my vanilla flavored stevia. Again, use whatever stevia you like. I like this. This is the Whole Foods brand. I actually buy it when we're in Florida and then I ship it five, six, seven. Seven drops seems to be good. And then I ship it uh, back home here in New York because I really like it. And the stevias they sell here, I don't like as much. Then I'm going to take my vanilla paste. You can use vanilla powder. Um, vanilla bean for me in these smoothies. Uh, doesn't add enough vanilla flavoring into it. So the vanilla paste, vanilla powder, or pure vanilla extract is just fine. We're going to do about a teaspoon of it. I just eyeball it. But for those of you who aren't familiar with eyeballing, make sure you measure. You don't want to have too strong a flavor in there. Okay, so we're going to take our ice and pour our ice in there. It's about five ice cubes. Now at this point, you can add your chia seeds, your hemp seeds. If you're someone struggling to get your cholesterol down, you can add a handful of a raw oatmeal. I'm not going to add any of these things into my smoothie because, well, I just don't want them in there right now. <laughs> okay, so now this is the trick. I took an apple last night and I cored it. Now this is a Gala organic apple. Uh, organic are part of the dirty dozen, so if you can afford to buy an organic apple that are nice and firm and crisp because sometimes organic apples tend to be a little mealy soft and I won't eat them that way but get some really nice crisp firm ones <clears throat> and if you can't afford the organic apples be sure to wash your apples really well because they are full of pesticides okay so I took my apple last night and I cored it left the skin on because you get a lot of nutrients in the skin. I just took a hint of uh, cinnamon over it, just a little bit, and I microwaved it for about two minutes just to soften the apple, okay? I don't want it mush, but I want it soft. And then you can, it does 
uh, there's like an apple juice that happens because you just put a little pinch of water when you microwave and then you get some juice from the apples and then I just let it sit in it overnight and it gets kind of syrupy so I'm going to add that right into the smoothie okay and I will put everything below this video so now you go ahead and add anything else you want to this smoothie if you are a person that really enjoys those sugar-free caramel um, syrups I don't really use a lot of them I don't use Splenda <clears throat> sometimes it's in th some things you just can't help it but um, I don't go out and buy it just to make my smoothies but if you like that and you have it around put a tablespoon of the caramel in there and then you're gonna have a caramel apple smoothie that would be fabulous okay we're gonna turn our blender on and we're just gonna let it do its magic Here we go. okay so our smoothie is done uh, mixing let's go ahead and pour it in and by straining the yogurt you get a little bit of a creamier texture without having to add a banana or anything in there because a banana I love bananas but they're gonna add some calories and a high sugar content into your smoothie so here we go let's taste it mmm mmm you really get the flavor of the apples just beautiful now remember if you're someone who really likes um, spicier apple pie you can go ahead and use apple pie spice you can put more cinnamon in this for me I like the mildness of the spices in this smoothie but remember anything I make go ahead and make it your own this is just a really nice healthy smoothie it has 23 grams of protein in it and if you need to add more protein to your breakfast just whip up some egg whites or something and eat them on the side and you're, you're really putting in a low calorie protein that is really good so did that make sense I hope it did anyway enjoy your apple pie smoothie I'm going to here you go be happy be healthy be beautiful and most of all peeps be lovable be lovable I love you all bisous my friends bisous